Hey guys, just wanted to give you a quick update on what's been going on in the Glendora real estate market. So let's take a look at what's been going on with prices. In December, the median price was 760,000 and that is down 8.4% since last year when the median price was 830,000. You can see that we've been on a, a steady downward trend since a peak about in June. And we're still way above where we were pre-pandemic back in December 2019. Now let's take a look at how hot the market is right now. With 2.1 months of inventory, that's still a really hot market. Ordinarily under these circumstances, we'd expect to see sharply rising prices. Uh, as you look back across the history of months of inventory, uh, we've dipped below this level at different times over the last three years, but we've been steadily in this same zone for a long time. So that tells me that all the depression in prices really isn't coming from a drop uh, in demand, but it's coming from the pressure of interest rates. So I expect that if interest rates drop, prices are probably going to come back up again because they're are still a lot of people who want to buy houses relative to the number of people who are currently trying to sell them. In terms of the number of homes that are for sale, there are more options available now than there were this time last year, almost twice as many. So people will feel like there are a lot more options right now than there were a while back. That'll make things a little easier for buyers. And what's really interesting is that we haven't made it above our pre-pandemic or even back to our pre-pandemic inventory levels yet. So there's still a relatively sh shortage of homes for sale compared to the number of people who would like to buy homes. So in the big picture, what does all this mean? I think it means that we're not gonna see like a really sharp drop off in prices in the next little while. Um, that steady decline may continue as the impact of higher interest rates works its way out. But unless we see that months of inventory number start to climb, um, I don't expect a really dramatic shift in the next little while. So for sellers, I really encourage you to be really uh, intentional about your pricing. It's super easy to overprice right now. And a lot of homes are sitting longer because their sellers accidentally overpriced them. For buyers, this might be a good time for you to get in the game if you've been sitting on the sidelines waiting for things to cool off and not be so crazy. That time has arrived. A lot of uh, homes have been overpriced a little bit, so they're sitting longer. The bidding wars that were causing the craziness before are still happening sometimes, but they've been reduced a lot. So the odds that you can negotiate some more favorable terms or use a down payment assistance program or something like that uh, that stuff's a lot more possible now than it was several months ago. Now, if you want to explore what your options are or you have questions about anything real estate related, feel free to reach out. My cell phone number is 909-576-0695 and I look forward to connecting soon.